Self-made, I believe, is the most arrogant quote in history. No one's self-made. They all learned from someone along the way that was willing to share. I used to believe I was self-made. I thought it was the only way to make it in this world. I was a curious 24-year-old when I started running companies. I asked a lot of questions, tried a lot of things, and failed many times. I always ask myself one question, why not me? Today, I'm a successful entrepreneur. I'm not a highly educated man. I skinned by him in high school. Am I lucky? Sure. Am I blessed? Definitely. But I was always curious and had big imagination. I started humbly on a production floor, eager to make a, make a name for myself. You see, growing up, we had an interesting dynamic in our family. My parents had a poor mindset and tried to load that generational course on me. <clears throat> and because they were my parents, I almost believed them. I was on my way to live in a stereotypical life in a small town, same people, same bars, same problems. My body, my mind, my overall health began to deteriorate as a result. I'd weighed over 340 pounds at my highest. I was on the road to an early grave. One study conducted by the National Council on Aging states that 55% of Americans who suffer with obesity also suffered with depression at some point throughout their life. Mental health is so tightly connected to physical health. Body dysmorphia is an issue I dealt with. Although people were seeing the new me on the outside, I was still seeing the old me, so I knew there was more work to be done. Today, I own three companies, I'm down two people, and I feel love and fulfillment every day. That doesn't just happen. It's because I took care of the inside as well as the outside. Does this sound too good to be true? Spoiler alert, it's not. But I did walk through fire to get here. I was married to someone I should have never married. But we got two great kids out of that deal that I couldn't be more proud of. I was in a relationship for two and a half years that shouldn't have lasted a weekend. But those relationships taught me more than I could ever imagine. They taught me my value, when to get up, say enough is enough, and do the work. Have you ever heard of a turn back moment? It's that moment when you clearly see the line between your future or say where you're at. This, for me, was that kind of moment. I can constantly say I made the right choice. Picture this, my rock bottom sitting on a second-hand couch, orange cheese dust covering my fingers and wrinkled teeth, a bottle of something hard close by, some guy on my laptop asked me if I was ready to change my life and become the man I used to know I could be. I answered yes, and I put the last remaining dollars into a company I knew I couldn't let fail. I was not the man I daughter, my daughters deserved, and I was going to become that man or die trying. If you follow this quick roadmap I'm laying out for you, I think you'll probably achieve the same thing. You need a pretty big imagination, a whole lot of courage, some curiosity, and a large filter. It was more than even I was prepared for it, and I have a huge imagination. Next, I know it's cliche, but get comfortable being uncomfortable. No one ever talks about the courage it really takes to do that. When you're standing looking in the mirror, facing exactly who and what you are, it's hard. It's a lot of unpacking past traumas, but I chose the only way forward is to start unpacking. So I did just that. Facing fears from my childhood, even going back to the childhood playgrounds to face bullies that were no longer there. Next, I got clear on my vision. I envisioned everything right down to the curtains and the windows of my new house. That was my guide. Did you know you can dry erase on windows? You can. For two years, those windows showed me more than the outside. They showed me everything from who I wanted in my life, who I could surround myself with, my future partner, my family, Every small detail. My kids would come home to letters in green, black, and red, and my youngest would always look up and go, looks like Dad was busy again today. It took a lot of time to get clear moving and get moving, but I highly recommend it. Those changes didn't just happen. It takes something special. It took discipline. It took a lot of discipline to change those habits, a lot of grit, and a lot of time. I chose to look at every habit I had in my life, from drinking, overeating, overworking, I look at every single habit I had, had to replace it with something healthy, but then had the discipline to maintain it. 
it's easy to replace it. But if you don't have that discipline, your goals and everything around it will just fall apart. Generational curses are worthless. We're all pre-wired genetically by our friends, our teachers, and our family to live a life they did. When you go through this process, people will either support you or they won't. And you have two choices. One, stay the same and accept that's the way it is. Or realize you've outgrown them. I had to let a lot of people go. At times, it was extremely lonely. But don't feel bad for me. Because I now have some of the most amazing people in my life that support me and all my flaws. Now, I have a group of friends that are Amish and Mennonite. When we first met, I asked why are they in my life. I spent a lot of time trying to figure out, was it the business? No. The business was just a tool. They actually saved me in my darkest time. Now we have a lifelong friendship because of that. I recommend building a life full of great friends and mentors. When you find yourself in a room you've outgrown, change that room. Challenge your growth and your mindset. Get out of your comfort zone. Find the people that align with who you are becoming. As you do this, you'll have people who completely misunderstand what you're doing when you're turning into the person you're meant to become. When this happens, just remember three things. One, embrace it. Two, know your value. And three, it's mostly projection on their part. It has absolutely nothing to do with you at all. So as you grow, climbing every mountain, breaking every curse, stop, look around, and embrace it. You've come so far. To me, rebuilding my life was just like building a business. Start with a big goal, chip away at small steps, and count your wins. And as you go forward, don't forget to grab something when you look back. Pay it forward. You never know what a simple word from you could change their life. And as you take a second to reflect on who's in your life, you never know who may be changing yours too. That being said, I'm grateful every day that I've got, every step it took to get here, the last dollars in my account, the conscious change I made, the terrible relationships, the new view I had on me, the new view I had on my life, and I'm forever gra grateful that 24-year-old curious kid who didn't look less from a victim, but a victor all those years ago. Today, I'm living my best life. I intentionally tend to do that every day. Just imagine where you could be in just a few months, days, or even years if you started listening to that positive, curious inner voice. Thank you.